Welcome everybody to the first episode of the Grapecast. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's really not that exciting. All right, I'm joined today by my co-host Max M Ferrari 24. Hi, how's it going? Yeah, shut the fuck up. Jack uh, Thor on Twitch and YouTube. Hello. That's really fucking enthusiastic. You're really excited <laughs> to be here, aren't you, retired? And uh, Lucas, aka Ten Cans of Bounce That Ass. P. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like his first intro better. Oh. <laughs> this is like our fourth time recording this. <laughs> yeah, we can't figure out how to use fucking audacity. Lucas has been trying to figure out audacity for the past like 20 minutes. It is now 7:47. We were supposed to start recording 47 minutes ago. Uh. It's okay. All right. Well. It's been a minute since we've been on the subreddit. Yeah, well, I've kind of neglected it lately, to be honest with you. I mean, we've been putting in a decent amount of work, though, on future shit. I mean, we got remember that poll we did for what to do for 500? We got Minecraft server, limited merchandise, and then we also want to do a podcast as well. So we have, like, we had so much shit to do. And I yeah. mean, I, I kind of, like, I feel bad for just kind of leaving it out. But, I mean, if you look, dude, it's been doing, like, pretty well on its own for a sub with 500 members. Yeah, and, like, there's a lot to come in the future for sure, like, from the mods, so it's not, like, dying, it's not going anywhere, it's gonna be, uh... Big shout-out to Towel, dude, he's been keeping shit alive for us. Yeah, original Towel has been great, we're gonna try to get him as a guest on here at some point, Yeah, we're gonna get him on the podcast. (laughs) But, yeah, man, I mean, I've seen, he's, I asked him to be a mod once, and I was kind of being funny man about it, and I don't think he, like, understood I was asking him to be a mod. (laughs) How did you phrase it? I told him he was a moderator, and he reviewed <laughs> Minecraft mods. I said, like, Sky does Minecraft, but better. <laughs> was he just like, oh, okay. Yeah, he said, okay, and then I said, accept, and then he didn't answer. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, Towel, if you're listening, please be a moderator. We'd love to have you. For sure, dude. We actually trust you. So He's been putting in so much work, for real. He even started, you saw his subreddit, too, where he had a... Uh, um, a mix between, what was it, r slash I have, I have, I have Reddit, and r slash yeah. grave. Yeah. Dude, oh, yeah. that subreddit is so retarded. Have you been there? <laughs> it's not. to the point, it's <laughs> it's so funny. Here, we'll read some I have, I have Reddit posts. No, there's been a lot of people on the subreddit that have been, like, re- actually posting a lot of funny stuff. And, and I'm really happy to see, like, people, not just us, like, posting our really dumb memes that take us, like, 10 seconds to make. Like, people actually come up with really funny shit. Yeah, for sure, dude. I assume most of it's original. Like, Hopefully. I mean, it's such, like, a yeah. weird niche type of comedy that I feel like it kind of has to be. Dude, I have Reddit. <laughs> They're joined the subreddit thinks as Joy NNN Dweekser DSLT cat emoji. And then there's <laughs> Ugandan Chungus at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like gray, but more retarded. Dude, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have a Reddit or whatever the hell it's called is like yeah, it's the not dark side of the internet, dude. It is like, it's like a wasteland. It's no man's land. That means don't even make sense to me. Pedophiles are using this symbol to identify each other. Please be aware the next time you see this, it's the British flag. <laughs> <laughs> Just the Union Jack. <laughs> and then it's the annoying orange saying big chungus. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that that's a that's like a dark side of Reddit, man. It's a wizard. It says, "Consider your pants peed." <laughs> P. That's actually. <laughs> I feel like Grabe is like people that want to dip their toes into that kind of comedy, but like don't want to like stray too far from it. Okay, buddy. I'd like to dip my toes. <laughs> in what? <laughs> Just in general. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> it's like dipping them. It just seems like something I'd be interested in, man. <laughs> you know, I've never tried toe dipping before, but I think I'd be kind of good at it. Yeah, it's really complex. <laughs> Is it? You have to pass a test? No. You know, you need a license. <laughs> <laughs> a license to toe dip? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas was about to have some like prophetic statement and then he just goes uh-huh. <laughs> oh dude I'll be good uh, 
Lucas, we haven't heard from you. What, what do you think of? What's your favorite? What's meme going on in heard? your mind, bro? <laughs> Can you just tell us the first thing you think of right now? <laughs> Gwape. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did you even just say what you just Gwape? Say? What was that word? Gwape. <laughs> Gwape. <laughs> George Bush eating a chicken. <laughs> Is that the first thing that you thought of? <laughs> no, I just completely fell down. I have, I have, I have read it. <laughs> <laughs> I just said sex and it's Mr. Krabs. <laughs> He's just standing there. Dude. Oh, man. Mm. They gotta be posting this on Grave. We'd love Nuts. it. Nuts. Yeah, we cock dick balling, bro. <laughs> I was telling Jack today, Grave is just like, okay, buddy, but without like the shitty moderator. Dude, I was gonna say... That's w why we started it, bro. We started yeah, it as a meme on April 1st, and we I was like, if this is serious, it's going to be like, okay, buddy, but without the fucking Nazi moderators. Exactly. You know yeah. how quickly memes get banned on okay, buddy? After like a week, they're like, yeah, we're Very sick of quickly. it. Dude, I just, even I, I'm going to be honest. My sense of humor has evolved, so I don't find like many memes on there funny. Me neither. I, like, like, I used to think they're funny. They're pretty formulaic now. I haven't browsed it recently. Although really that one that you sent me today, that was like Phineas and Fur, but it said like cock and balls or whatever. It said dick and balls, and their, their <laughs> yeah. heads were a dick, and the other one was a balls. Yeah, that, that one was pretty funny. good. That one was funny. A singular balls. But yeah, o like okay, hey, buddy's just become such a like a Nazi wasteland of moderators that like it's kind of hard to be funny. Yeah, I mean, it's all the memes are so formulaic. Like you know how it was <laughs> just like the meme was like, um, spell the top letter the top caption wrong and the bottom caption wrong yeah and then like, put like funny sunglass emoji yeah it was ev that's literally every single one i just like i remember finding that funny in like sophomore year and then it's just really not funny anymore yeah to me and like mm -hmm. the thing is too is people kind of know like the types of memes that are gonna blow up just to get karma and they're not even funny they just make them because they want like reddit points basically that's true i mean yeah, a I lot of like okay buddy a lot of okay buddy memes go mainstream you know like that's where a lot of memes originate like on that the is Mis very true. On the Misfits podcast, they were like talking about it and they were like, like I was like, uh, I'm not sure, but I, I've seen that a lot of memes originate from a subreddit called OK Buddy Retard. And I was, th <laughs> uh, well, it sounded like a complete fucking boomer, but I was thinking about it. I was like, dude, he's kind of right. Like, it's very true. Yeah. A lot yeah. of them you can see are just like memes designed. They make, they make fun of like memes being stolen by Instagram, but a shit ton of them are like memes designed to be stolen by Instagram. Oh, totally. Yeah. yeah. Like, most Instagram accounts now literally just yoink memes from OK Buddy like twice a day and then post them. I see so often, dude, Instagram pages where I took a screenshot. There was, um, at Lowell Hillian and at Smoke Egg, these same memes, like, like oh. on my timeline stacked on top yeah. of each other. One from two days ago and one from four hours ago because Instagram's timeline is fucked. And it was the exact same meme. I was just yeah. about to say the same thing. And it's interesting because you'll notice, like, you'll see a meme blow up on OK Buddy, and it's approximately, like, two to four days later, it's going to be on Instagram, like, every time. And then you'll <laughs> see, like, four different meme accounts post the exact same thing. And, like, one will try to put a watermark on it, maybe. But, like, it's literally, like, it's kind of Dude, bad. Dude, I never understood watermarks. Like, who, A, who looks at them, and B, why are you, like, claiming the meme? Yeah, like, who cares at all? Meme. Don't claim it. Yeah, and you, it's not even your property. Like, you took that from Reddit. No, so. dude, even when it's not from Reddit. Like, there, people put, like, you slash Calvin Daniels 5 at the bottom <laughs> who made the yeah. meme. And it's like, okay, what am I supposed to... I'm not going to go you give you karma. Yeah, just here's, real life Here's karma. Reddit gold. You just show up to his house with an actual sack of gold. Like, Here you go. Funny Thanks, meme. kind stranger. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Shut imagine up. if that's how it works. You like you know like the uh, like the new awards that they have for like COVID they have like healthcare hero oh, yeah, and all shit, that. Oh yeah, shit! I didn't know that was for COVID. Who even like awards the award? Like gives people awards based on the context of the awards? You know, like I don't. I just give whatever I think is like yeah, worth. Yeah, just give out the cheapest the award they can. Yeah. Well, I mean, if it's like I mean, I've given out like a platinum before. Oh yeah, gold. yeah. I've given like, if it's if it's something deserving. But I just yeah. got it for free from when you gave me platinum when we were first starting the sub and trying to get like. More posts featured. Oh, yeah, and I, like, awarded all your posts. Yeah, and then you gave me... Oh, no, Andy gave me plat. Why did Andy have plat? Dude, why does he have... Why, like, why does he have anything he has? Andy's our gay friend, by the way. He's not actually gay, but... He's, but he's gay. Been, he's gay. 
He's definitely he's definitely <laughs> been, you know. He's definitely bi curious. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. He definitely forgot to say no homeo one too many times, bro. One homeo? Yeah. <laughs> homeo. Yeah. No Dude, homeo and Juliet? <laughs> 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 dude i um i got uh i made like some random post on like r slash casual conversation or something Gaijin. like that they got like forty thousand upvotes and like a wall of awards right dude i saw, i've been on your account you post some cringe shit <laughs> i know i do i've been on your account too i when i saw you had like random memes posted to okay buddy that had like seven down votes oh yeah and like <laughs> dude a lot of my posts like, oh, i'm on, i'm on like I'm usually on a video subreddit. Like, I'm usually asking for help. I think I have, like, 12 posts on r slash Yeah, you did Blender have a help. few of those, yeah. Uh, yeah, Blender help, you had a lot of stuff on Yeah. That. But that's, like, a really helpful subreddit for, like, learning. Yeah, that might be why it's called Blender help, retard. All right, <laughs> moving on. Shut up. Okay. All right. Dude, do you know what I think is one of the sickest features of Reddit, though? Like, some shit that I wish I thought of? RPAN, dude. RPAN is sick as fuck. Yeah, RPAN is great. What's RPAN? You don't know what RPAN is? It's like Reddit public access. Access? Ass, shut the fuck ass. up. Ass. Public dude, ass. It's like people get like 30 seconds. Public ass. Dude, that's what I... Reddit pubic <laughs> ass. It's not funny, Max. <laughs> that's not funny, but it also is. Dude, it kind of is. I, I'm on it right now, and there's a guy playing guitar with his sister. And that's... More idiot. Okay, but listen, dude, I'm on RPAN right now. It's a guy playing guitar with his sister. You know, and he has like five hours of watch time like jack the way our pan works is people if they like it they can give like an award basically like a twitch donation like silver yeah but instead of like a message they get airtime. like if it's something you want to watch you pay to watch it longer yeah oh. so like if you give them silver they get an extra like 45 seconds or something and if you give them like platinum they get like 10 minutes or I they don't got know platinum works, and he got like yeah that. he got like 167 seconds so now he has like yeah a while wait so how do you start you like request no but like there's like a schedule oh, really though. like you gotta like request time do you just stream for like five minutes and then if people like it, you just go longer yeah and like, but like only one dude. person can stream at a time it's pretty cool though like one person it's like yeah. Twitch, it's really but there's cool. only one streamer across the internet yeah, it's a really sick concept because yeah, it's like a it's like a TV station pretty much. There's only like one thing being played at once. I wish I knew. Dude, I wish you could see how many people were watching it. I don't think you can. Uh no, I think you can only see how many upvotes it has. I just 641 right now. That's a shit ton. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say like the other cool thing is like r slash fuck r slash lounge. I don't know if you've ever been on there. No. Like, if you're uh, if you have Reddit Premium, oh yeah, or, like, yeah, yeah. You, You've been awarded stuff. You get like access to like this VIP subreddit, and ever since like that one post I had blew up, I have like a year and a half or something in the R slash lounge, and it's so sick, dude. Everybody there's like, it's like the good side of Reddit. Nobody's like shitty and talking smack. Like everybody's yeah, actually really nice. You could also argue that that's the good side of Reddit. That's fucking Australian Reddit, dude. Oh, yeah. dog, <laughs> you fucking you shit cunt. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong, dude. But like. The like Reddit is like so weird, like trying to explain Reddit to like an old person, like my dad or some shit, is so fucking confusing. I was just trying to explain it to one of my friends who had never used it, and I'm like, yeah, it's like social media, but it's also like a news site. But like you can upload your own it's stuff. It's like an app like store, and every sub. sub is like a forum app. It's really fucking hard to explain. Yeah, and I'm like, and yeah, Actually, and like anything you're interested in, there's gonna be like a subreddit for it. And then they'll be like, oh, so is there one for, like, this, that? I'm like, oh, yeah. There's also ones for, like, really random new Dude, I was on r slash cannot watch Scott's Tots. If you've ever seen that episode of The Office, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no. The one, Scott's Tots. The one where he promises all the kids uh, college tuition and then he can't pay. Oh, yeah. Dude, I literally cannot watch that. And I looked it up as a meme. And it's a real subreddit, and it has like 500 That's members. It's an entire. It's an entire thing. subreddit, and every post is like, "Boys, I'm going in," or it's like a trauma story. It's like, "Boys, my sister was watching The Office, and I felt uncomfortable telling her to turn it off, and I had to watch Scott's Tots. I had no choice. I had to watch it." Wait, so what? Ha what happens in the episode exactly? So he promises all these kids, like Michael, promises all these kids, like when they're like in elementary school. That he's gonna pay their tuition when they graduate with like a certain like super high like GPA like a three point eight or something. He promises he's yeah. gonna pay, and he gets in like the news and shit because he's retarded and he thinks he's gonna be rich by then. And he's <laughs> not, but there's like 
all the kids, he didn't expect any of the kids to make it, but all the kids, like every single one he talked to, ha- met, met the minimum grade requirement. So he goes into like, like what, five years, six years later, because it's they're like inviting him to something and they do this whole like song and this whole like sing and dance thing for him about how grateful they are because he's paying all their tuition. They can go to any college they want. Yeah. And he just starts crying halfway through and they're like, why are you crying? And he's like, yeah, I can't pay for any of your colleges, and it's so awful, dude. It's it's just kind of cringe. It's, so, yeah, it's like it's like hard. One. Is it like actually hard to watch? Dude, like, it's so movie? hard to watch. A I've seen bit, it yeah. once. I can never watch it again. It's so terrible because the entire episode Jeez. is him telling a bunch of kids he can't pay for their tuition, and it's just like literal tragedy because these kids aren't fortunate and they're going to like Oxford and shit, and he can't pay. Whoa. And then at, in the end, he ends up paying for one girl's books. <laughs> and she's like, "Wow, Jeez. thanks a lot, dickhead. You really saved the entire class." Yeah. And then he gets back. He's like, "All right, so what are we? Gonna, what wacky moment are we gonna do next?" <laughs> Dude, Finn says he does not like watching The Office. He doesn't find it funny. Uh, I know. I don't really. I mean, I only got through season one. That's because that one's not funny. Bad. Yeah, yeah I watched not. season one, and I'm like, this is not humorous at all. It's literally just uh, Michael running around trying to be all zany and wacky and so goofy. And it's like, that's just not funny at all. Yeah, that's literally season one, dude. They, they had to change it by season three because the British one, it was supposed to literally just... This is a British one? There was a, yeah, oh, it's based yeah. on... Originally, it was British. Dude, the British yeah. one. With Ricky Gervais or whatever. They were supposed to do... Um, like, they just... It's British, obviously, so it's a completely different audience. And they were doing The Office based on, like, an actual... Like, the comedy was all, like, depressing comedy. Like, re- super relatable comedy. And since it's Britain, like... That was funny. Like, Britain is way, like, super big into sarcasm. That's their humor. Like, British humor. Yeah, like, satire mm-hmm. Like, Monty sarcasm, Python. Sure. Monty Python is, like, the epitome of British humor. Like, the, the long and short of it. But that's funny. But, like, in America, they were trying to do, like, relatable office satire, and people didn't understand it. And they made the show for, like, adults when they came home from the office. But it was being watched by kids. So, basically, the kids were literally just getting, like, the environment was depressing. Because in season one, like, it's all harsh light. It's all filmed in 4 by 3 like, the little TV, yeah. like, size, instead of 16 by 9 And kids were like, yeah, this show's, like, funny, but, like, it's fucking, like, depressing. Like, it, it's literally just an office. And then adults wouldn't watch it because it reminded them too much of work. Yeah. And they couldn't relax. Well, correct me if I'm, what? Correct me if I'm wrong, but, like, my understanding is that in the british version they got like the satire and the sarcasm and like that humor like right and it was actually funny and they tried to mimic it in america and they just like couldn't do it as well so like if like i've heard a lot of people say that the british version is better i've never seen it because, dude, but like, i think ricky gervais is one of the funniest comedians like ever. yeah he's, he's really funny so i'm just the I'd, entirety of hollywood at the fucking grammys like he's yeah, basically yeah. like oh by the way like Hugh Grant, you're a pedophile. And everyone laughed, and I was like, ah, uh, he's probably right, shit. He's probably a pedophile. <laughs> but, dude, he's funny. I've never seen The British Office, but, like... I've seen, like, highlights on YouTube, and it was funny. I watched, like, half an episode because I thought that it was the American <laughs> Office. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I... Or not half an episode. I watched it for, like, two minutes, and then I was like, yeah, this is definitely not the show that I'm looking for. <laughs> dude... I, I'm so fascinated by British, like, culture. It's so weird. It's like America, but, like, it's, like, almost Better. parallel to America. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. Like, because they're, like, way smaller. Like, I've, I've driven through the entirety of Britain. It takes three hours to drive through the whole country. It's tiny. Is it just, like, Indiana? It's the size of Texas. <laughs> <laughs> the whole culture... <laughs> The whole country, like culture, people, everything, it's literally just America on like a smaller scale. Like from what I could tell, I've been there twice. Yeah, and Isn't I felt like, like really at home. Like I did not feel like I was in a foreign place yeah, at same. all. But everything felt like low key. Everything like, feels a lot more gray, dude. To be honest, like everything yeah. feels a lot more flat and like serious to me. Like it feels way more. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not like. But it's almost like not. But it's not like a depressing serious. It's almost like okay, you guys just care about life yeah it's not like a fucking <laughs> yeah. like we're gonna go out and get slammed or some shit it's like yeah this guy's yeah. doing it after like a hard nine to five job and then he's gonna go back like it's just like a serious atmosphere yeah. which is kind of cool it is very cool i agree i love it though 
if anybody listening is from there, then shout out to like anybody from the entire UK because it's really it's a sick dude. Place. It's like it's literally like everyone has purpose, you know. It's not like so. And there, I've seen no homeless people in Britain. Like I was in London, I didn't see a single really? homeless person. You're exact. I never have either. I'm sure there are, uh, but like but you like, know, the parts I went. Yeah, to, and I, I was I went any. all around London with like my band class when I was in um band in high school. Like that, we literally like went like from like. I don't even know how to describe it. We went everywhere, though. Like, we did a parade through the yeah. entire city for New Year's and shit. And, like... The entire city of England. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> England is my city. The entire city of London, bro. And I didn't see a single homeless person the entire time. We were there for a week. You know what, what it really amazed me? Is I went there... I think the... F- Actually, I think that was the second time I was there. Gay marriage had just been legalized oh, in the United States. Oh, oh yeah while i was there that was a while ago and they threw yeah this was was like 2013 maybe um and so there's there's a pride parade right through the center of london and people were shit faced people were breaking stuff celebrating like going nuts like there's like vomit in the streets like confetti everywhere wait in london why were they celebrating america yeah damn what those gay people doing (laughs) well well june i think it was was in june and it was like pride no it was uh, Pride Month anyway. Stupid fucking. So I, I think they just happened to coincide at a similar time because it was Pride Month. But dude, it's easy, bro. There's like confetti everywhere. Shit was smashed and broken, and like the drinking age is 18. So oh, there's like shit, drunk yeah, kids everywhere. There's like all these drunk kids like stumbling through the streets. I woke up the next day, all that trash, everything that was broken, completely cleaned up, immaculate. The city had never looked better. What the fuck, they got, dude? They cleaned all that shit in like 12 hours. That's because there's only like one fucking city there, dude. Yeah, I was, that's that's what I was about to say earlier. It's like, it's a massive place, but there's like three cities. Like it's all just farmland. Yeah, it's like London, and Southampton, cliffs, and like and random. Yeah, shit. you got you got like Liverpool, you got like Birmingham, and then you have Birmingham. Birmingham. We got Broland. But but this dude, the countryside is beautiful. Yeah, dude, I drove through. It was sick. Have you ever been to Scotland? It's really, Max? really nice. Uh, no, I really want to go. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, talking about the UK is sleeper as fuck. Next topic. (laughs) Yeah, eat my ass. Okay, Okay, well, well, in summary, if you're listening from the UK, shout out to you. Tell us how you like it there. Because maybe it sucks for you and you wish you lived in America. I don't know. No one, no one wants that. (laughs) But, but I assume in 20, like, in 2020 and shit, nobody wants to live here. All right, new segment. Lucas, what the fuck is going on in your brain, buddy? Lucas, say the first thing that comes to your mind. Eggs. (laughs) <laughs> like like reproductive so eggs crazy. chicken <laughs> eggs what well, kind it was of at eggs? the top of my body you said what's the first thing that comes to mind eggs the top of eggs. your body the top, top of your of body on your why are eggs on your body bro listen here. listen here like what kind of eggs we talking about like reproductive scrambled eggs, eggs chicken eggs scrambled eggs okay do you are you the type of guy that puts ketchup in the scrambled no, egg no i put like a little bit of hot sauce sometimes oh so you're just, just a little retarded. bit not a lot just just a little bit you know for some flavor you know you know, like you to know. flavor your eggs a little yeah. bit. Yeah, gotta flavor the eggs. <laughs> yeah, I'll flavor yeah, your eggs. That, I, was, I was just waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> Max humor. Apple. <laughs> <laughs> what is with you and food, dude? A- Lucas, apple hungry. quacka. Yeah. What? Are you hungry, Lucas? What is on your mind right now? Something that's on your mind, not the first thing you think of. Telephone. No, I, I just <laughs> said not the first thing you think of. Like, just what's Lucas's something that you have been thinking week? about lately? What I've been thinking about? I don't know. I'm kind of cl- like in, in life. In life. <sighs> you just talked about fucking LA Fitness before the podcast, okay? Yeah, yeah. you're literally talking about canceling your LA Fitness. Subscription. I don't have an <laughs> LA Fitness subscription. That's the thing. They keep calling me, telling me that I have something there, but I've never even done anything. <laughs> <to> LA <Fitness. laughs> they are gay. <laughs> Welcome to adulthood. <laughs> I mean, welcome to adulthood. Maybe, maybe, like maybe next time you'll get a job, shit. All right. I'm also kind of thinking about monkey noises. <laughs> 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 You've been thinking about monkey noises lately? I'm not going to lie, bro. For real. You know what's been on my mind for a while, bro? What? How the fuck monkeys... <laughs> How monkeys? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like How the fuck monkeys? agree. 
<laughs> I thought you cut out, and I was just waiting for it to come Dude, back. I literally just mentally <laughs> cut out. I was like, what am I going to say after this? Oh, nothing. That'll be funny. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Dude, I feel like Sam's brain works, like, really fast in that sort of situation. I just realized I forgot to fucking introduce myself in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, you we did. We may have to redo <laughs> that's the beginning ours, after the podcast. That's you slash no Ryder, by the way. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm Dilg. By the way. No, shut the fuck up. What's up, Ken, guys? Well, to bounce shut up. That ass. Yeah, shut up, watermelon. What's up, guys? Welcome. We're not up, doing another intro. Shut up. What's up, guys? Nice. Welcome I'm to episode one of the... Gr- <laughs> Shut What's up, up? Pick a <laughs> Barf Harris. <laughs> We're keeping that in. That's so funny. Max trying to do an intro. <laughs> What's up, no, I'm literally going to keep what, trying. Guys, welcome to my latest video. What's up, uh, What's up guys? Max, so stop. We gotta I'm going to kill you. Bro, I've been binge watching Too Mad videos for a minute, bro. He's so funny. Too Mad is I did funny, that like man. six months ago, yeah. Dude, I cannot wait till school starts again. Literally just for the reason that he can do the Zoom raids again. That was the funniest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. All those teachers Dude, that like really freaked out. Mine. Dude, that was hilarious. I gotta tell the story of when I accidentally put my room code in Too Mad's Twitch chat. <laughs> okay, so I was in the middle of a Zoom call and I was on Discord with uh with basically everyone with everyone on the podcast right now, and I was fucking bored out of my mind and fucking Too Mad was streaming. So I was like, shit, I should get too mad to join my Zoom call because I, I, I fucking hate By the way, quickly, if anyone doesn't know, you probably know who too mad is. He's funny YouTuber. Just look at too mad like, on fucking YouTube, bro. You'll never fucking. Yeah, yeah. funny streamer. He's, he's just yeah, like, just funny, okay, yeah. buddy, but like personified. Yeah. Dude, it's fucking, I have Reddit but, personified. But way better than okay. Yeah, true. But dude, I was. Just great. I was bored um, in this call and I was like, I fucking hate this teacher. So I don't really care if he <laughs> finds out it's me. And there's no way he's going to find out it was me anyway. So I was like, shit, I should get too mad to join the Zoom call. So I I put the Zoom call. I was like, how can I fucking get it to him? So I was like, I had the fucking tiny brain moment. So I was like, shit, I should put the code in his Twitch chat, man. He'll join if I do that. So I fucking paste my code in my Twitch chat. And I told <laughs> Jack as soon as I did it. And he was like, what the fuck did you just do? I was like, oh, I put my code in his Twitch chat. And he was like, that was the most retarded idea you've ever had. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, two meds. Twitter DMs have been open for two hours for you to send them, like, the Zoom yeah, keys Yeah, shut the stuff, fuck up. Dude. That's not important. <laughs> I knew that the whole time. I was just being... F- okay, shut up. But listen, <laughs> I was... I fucking... As soon as he says that, as soon as Jack says that, some guy who has his camera off joins the Zoom call, my fucking sociology Zoom call, and he goes, You know what I hate? <laughs> We're gonna beep that. <laughs> Yo, you <laughs> We're can't gonna beep say that. that. But... He said, he said, friendly neighbor. That's all he, he said. He said, funny word. Yeah. Dude, as soon as they both get kicked, my teacher just ends the fucking Zoom. He's like, we're going to have to end it, guys. He ends it, then starts it again. And he was like, you know what I just realized, guys? I realized the only way those people could get into the class is if they had the room code. And the only way they could get someone could give them the room code <laughs> is if one of my students got it off my public website and gave it to them. <laughs> I I know which one of you did this. I know the FBI has been looking into Zoom raids. So yeah, no, didn't yeah, he like threaten to get yeah, the he FBI told, he involved? He said he was going to get the FBI involved, and he was he literally went on for the rest of class. There was a half an hour left for thirty minutes. He went on about how stupid Zoom bombing is and how people who do that have no life. Meanwhile, fucking dude, we had all Matt is making three times what he fucking makes, literally doing yeah, the exact literally. same shit. Dude, we had a lot of fun with that though, because like uh. Our friend Finn, he had a he had like a Spanish class. Oh shit! Like once a week, and I would just join the Spanish class. I don't even go to the same high school, okay? And I would just join the Spanish class, and like just start speaking like Spanish to the teacher, and she'd be like, "Are you in my class?" And I'd just be like, "No, yeah, I, I la cabeza," just saying like random Spanish words and shit. And she also and, like, didn't she, give a shit at all. And she did not give a shit, and I joined week after week, and then just left. And she thought it was the funniest, dude. Dude, online online class was like the best thing that ever happened to any of us. Dude, I swear. Our, my school just announced they're going fully online for the next. We semester. better, dude. We oh, better, dude. Yeah. But our class, ours is set up so they have video confirmation that you're at the computer for six hours. 
What? Yeah. Six hours? How are you supposed to go outside at all, oh, dude? Like, God. Ev- if they do that for you ever us. see that, like... Wait, is, is it six hours straight, or, like, you can just kind of... I'm pretty sure there's, like, little, like, fucking ten-minute breaks or some shit, but it's fucking six hours it's snack- straight of school. It's gonna like a snack break. <laughs> Alright, guys, snack time. <laughs> yeah. Get your snack time. Milk breaks and lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bro. That's, like, what it is where Jack and I work. <laughs> snack. Yeah. Shut up, Lucas. I'm gonna get a mini fridge for my room. Lucas is what? <laughs> Shut up. We're, Say no that again. No one is talking about that. My room. You're getting a mini fridge. Like, like, like a miniature one, like a tiny one for like ten cans of soda. Ten cans of <laughs> bounce that ass. <laughs> it's in the name, dude. Yeah. It's implied that the fridge is mini. Okay. Dude, dude. How about you just get a normal mini fridge, not one that only holds three cans of. Yeah, those are like 150 <laughs> bucks. Holy yeah, right, shit, you're you getting spend scammed. 100 and then you can hold like many 2 liter bottles and stuff. Listen here. Cargo room. I can fit a whole turkey carcass in yeah, my okay. dude. It's yeah, literally the size of Why like the fuck do you sound like, like that's from experience? A turkey carcass? That was so <laughs> fucking specific. Guys, I can <laughs> I know, fit a human femur in mine, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tried, but I I'm roughly the same length and width. I do. Don't ask me how I know that, but I know that. Don't ask me where my wife is. Don't ask me where my wife is, okay? I can fit my three cats. <laughs> Stop me into the top shelf of my freezer. I might be able to fit my wife's I Put like 12 cats in, in there. Portion. Meow! <laughs> <laughs> There's one of them now. That's Hello? A great, this must not be that's cold a great enough. great ending segment. Alright. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening to episode one of the Grapecast. If you guys made it this far, then kudos to you. Holy shit. I don't know how you got through us. Yeah, shut the fuck up, idiot. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, Episode two in the future. Uh, Yeah, that's it. Everyone say goodbye. And just remember, keep your monkey nuts moisturized. That's all. (laughs) (laughs) Goodbye. What? Goodbye now. Goodbye. Goodbye now.